I going? I just want to know. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Upshift Exotics. It is Saturday morning and we're heading to Cars and Cantina, the first car show with the Audi R8. And I don't think there could be a better show to reveal the new supercar. But first, we're on our way to pick up Christian. He is the man behind LA Beast 580 on Instagram. His dad's got a Huracan. He runs a social media account. We're about to pick him up and take him to the show. So we're about to have a lot of new people see the R8. You guys are the first ones to ever see it because you subscribe to the channel. If you're new, my name is Blake Covington. I'm 28 years old. Hit that subscribe button and uh, enjoy some supercar content today. Should I just honk at the cop and get her out of the way? <laughs> just honk at her? Look at that. Get out of the way. Should, should, should I turn my lights on and sirens? Yeah. Pull her over? Yeah. I can't hear my car, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Shh, quiet. Oh, one second. <laughs> Better? I'll just pretend it's me. <laughs> okay, now you rev. <laughs> well, guys, we are here at Cars and Cantina, the first car show with the Audi R8. We are joined here by two other Audi R8s. These are the newer body styles, so just look how much squared off they are from mine sitting right over there. We've also got a small corral that has gathered around my pet bulls, Lamborghini Huracan, and the new R8. And on that note, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who has congratulated me and those who are welcoming me into the supercar world. Uh, it's, it's a really cool feeling being able to uh, kind of be a part of the club, I guess you could say. So I really appreciate all the support, all the handshakes, the thumbs up today. I'm very excited. This is the first car show and uh, what a better way to kick it off. It really is crazy to see how far the Audi R8 design has came. The back of my car is so much more rounded off than the new ones. And then of course this is the V10. We've got those like crossbars right there. Massive exhaust. Look at the difference in the oval exhaust and then that more rectangular exhaust. And then look at the interior, guys. I gotta say, I wish I had an interior like this. Maybe one day, <laughs> I know we just got the 2009 R8, but maybe one day we'll get the new body style because these are really, really cool. I really like these. Just look at how awesome that looks. And the diamond stitching, guys. Audi killed it with this interior. Obviously, as we have one R8, we move over here to the GT3. It has been an amazing experience owning a Porsche. It won't be our last. Oh, this is cool. Look at that, guys. We have the red dials, the red uh, radial gauges there, and then we have the red track Those. clock that matches the red exterior. Nicely spent. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. Use the front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now but love. Keep it a buck, I don't always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these. I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. I saw the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they notice it. Now we have the off-white. We'll call it the off-white Lamborghini Huracan, aka my pet bull on Instagram. Also, this is the guy who hooked me up with these shoes. These shoes were Basically a, uh, call it a paint to sample for the old Porsche. And on that note, like I've been saying, the first mod we're gonna do besides the exhaust is the calipers. And uh, well, what do you guys think? Should we do a Miami blue, which is kind of like this, maybe a little bit more vibrant blue on the calipers and leave everything else blacked out? What do you guys think about that? I left you guys out on a little secret. I actually test drove a GTS. Um, this is a GTC, which is the convertible version, but I drove a GTS and I didn't film any of it. I wanted to really just soak up the experience of test driving the car, uh, getting a feel for it. I did the same thing with the R8. I didn't film any of that. When, when I usually test drive cars, I don't like to film. I want to just focus on simply driving the car and getting a feel for every thing that the car can do. When I drove the GTS, I uh, had a lot of fun. That was so much fun. Such a wide car and a lot to handle on the road. It's about 500-ish horsepower, um, a little more than the R8, but it, um, it was a lot of fun. It's a very wide car. Matter of fact, it's only just a couple of inches, I think, less wide than an Aventador, which is a really, really wide car. I mean, you guys can see how wide, how fat that car is. It's wider than the R8 for sure. 
But when it came down to daily drivability, I think the GTS is a good car, but the R8 just beats it out in the fact that it's a lot easier to see out of. The GTS had less visibility than the R8 did. Um, with such a massive hood that this car has, it, uh, it just kind of made it harder to park when you're pulling those in somewhere, if it's in tight spots in traffic. But I must say that Mercedes AMG just completely outdid themselves with the interior. This is the most Italian car I've ever seen. You've got the Italian flag colors on the seats, this one big stripe down the middle. You've got steering wheel there, Italian flag there, and look at those buttons, guys. You've got green, white, and red, the Italian colors. If that's not enough Italian for you, I've got more. Look at that Ferrari engine and signatures. I'm assuming these are signatures of all of those who worked on the car, or maybe some Ferrari affiliated people. <laughs> Really, really cool Ferrari 488 GTB. Just in case you're ever running late to drop your kids off at school with a thousand plus horsepower GTR, they can always be safe and sound in their car seat while also going probably 200 plus. Would you, if you had kids, or if you do, I don't know, <laughs> if, would you take them to school in a thousand plus horsepower GTR? Probably never be late. This is one of the best spec Huracan Performantes that I have ever seen. You've got a matte black wrap with these bronze matte wheels. Guys, this looks super sick. If I was to get a Huracan, I would totally do this spec. And they've properly done this. And I believe that's hers and this is his. So husband and wife duo here. But look how they match the Performante badging with the wheels and also you have that manifold cover with the wheels. Guys, this is properly spec. I like the license plate. <laughs> well guys, we just got pulled over. <sighs> First time being pulled over, I've had the supercar for <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> It's in the front, okay? You mind if I do it for you two? You can, you can. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We're good. <laughs> How fast was I going? I just want to know. You know you were going, boy. You know you were going, boy. You got, you got 40. 40? Like, like 45, like this. Oh, really? Man, that thing don't play. I man. literally, I literally just got it, so I'm still it learning. It don't play. Is that a B12 or B10? Uh, it's a V8. It don't matter. Just, <laughs> and I got my uh, my documents for the new car in the No, I got it in Tyler, Texas, actually. I traded in uh, my Mercedes and my Porsche for it. Um, because they really wanted the inventory and I really wanted this car. You know, this car is it's bad right now, you know? I have a, I have a, a, <laughs> I have a Roush. Oh, really? Nightmare. 2020. I only have 7,500 miles on it. Let me take it. It's a good car. Take it. Oh, I, 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 no, I come to all these shows. I've never been pulled over once. But no, man, nice car, man. I nice appreciate car. it, man. Right. Hey, right. thank you very all much. Right. Be right. safe, okay? Right. I appreciate right. what you guys do. <laughs> never been pulled over before in any of my cars with the Porsche, the Mercedes, the Challenger. And here I am. I got pulled over with the Audi R8 right after two weeks of ownership. Super cool cop. Thanks to the Colony Police Department. Uh, he honestly just pulled me over. He said, man, Spin them is 35. He goes, I believe you hit 40, but I'm not sure. I just want to see your car. So <laughs> I appreciate all you guys do out there, law enforcement, all the men and women out there protecting and serving and uh, keeping the road safe. Oh, you can hear those radiators working hard to keep the Audi cool. I've been driving this more today than I have since we got the car. So, just because I can, and because I don't want my baby to be too hot. Wow, <laughs> you can feel just a ball of heat come off of that engine bay. You guys probably can't see it, but there's like so many heat waves coming off the engine right now. <laughs> These guys behind me, they literally just mouthed the word upshift exotics. I can see it in the review mirror. Now they're looking it up on their phone. If you're subscribing, shout out to you. Thank you for subscribing. Anybody who tries to tell you that a car is just a car, it only gets you from point A to point B, has obviously never been 
in a supercar or an exotic car of any kind, every time that I get behind the wheel of this R8, I am smiling. Literally, I just catch myself smiling. I'm by myself, there's no one with me. It just, it just brings out so much happiness in you. And, and it could be any car. Like if you go rent a car, go rent an exotic car, go rent a Lamborghini or Ferrari. I promise you, you're gonna smile. It's, it's just so much fun. And you're never gonna understand that until you get behind the wheel of one. That's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Also, big shout out to the police officer in the colony, uh, the Colony Texas De uh, Police Department. You guys are great, you guys are awesome. Uh, I always appreciate everybody who comes out to uh, make sure that the car shows are safe and that it's a safe family environment. People can leave the car shows knowing that you guys are out there patrolling the streets. And to the officer that pulled me over, I did not catch your name and did not look at your badge, but it was awesome that you pulled me over just to check out the car. And uh, I didn't show the whole, the whole pullover here on the, uh, on the channel for you guys, but we talked for a good five to ten minutes just about cars and uh, he actually told me that he's got a uh, a Roush uh, that's got like 800 horsepower or something so he's definitely a car enthusiast so shout out to you if you're watching this anyways hope you have a great morning day or night wherever you are in the world hit the like button subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time